Hello and welcome to CFA's first ever virtual open house. In just a few minutes, we're going to be introducing you to our childcare staff at the New London Day Nursery here in New London. And then you're gonna be tuning back in at 4.45 for the Early Childhood Development Center in Groton. So each center here with CFA is certified and accredited by the National Association for the Education of Young Children. And we provide full day care to kids ages six weeks to pre-K. Enrollment is now open for kids three to four years old. And now we're gonna introduce you to Jeff. My name is Jeff Nichols and I'm the site manager here at uh, New London Nursery through Child and Family Agency. And I want us to start at the front of the building because this beautiful sign here is the first thing you're going to see when you drive by. So a lot of people may not um, recognize us um, other than your sign or um, where we are. We've been in credit program here for uh, over 20 years. And I want you to follow me and I want to show off our program. So when you first come in, we are very fortunate to have uh, four classrooms with four different playgrounds. So this is our infant playground right here. Um, so we are fortunate enough that we can all be outside at the same time and enjoy the beautiful weather. And we spend a lot of time outside um, every day. Um, bring our bring our um, drink them outside and we learn to play out there. So come on down this way. We have a beautiful garden here. Miss Mary's garden in honor of Miss Mary Beth who taught here years ago. Um, back even before I started, 15 years ago. So she is in memory here with the garden. And then again, here's our three other playgrounds. We have a top playground there for a preschool classroom, ages three to five. We have a lower playground here where they take bikes um, and run around down here. And then we have in the fence, we have our toddler playground, ages 18 months to three years. So again, we are very lucky to have three playgrounds and we can all be outside at the same time. And here is the rock of our program. with Diane, our lead teacher here, and she's gonna take it away with some of our um, new safety precautions that we're doing. <laughs> So this is how the school would look when you pull up with your child in the parking lot. We'll have a welcome sign with some reminders for the day. Um, staff member will meet your child. If you're a pre-K parent, you're going to have a mask put on your child before they even enter the building. So we're following the Connecticut Office of Early Childhood uh, guidance for child care, including mask wearing for all pre-K kids. We're also following their screening protocols, which include asking about exposure and travel at everyday drop-off. We have daily, weekly, and hourly cleaning routines posted and followed throughout our center. And another op option that we offer is uh, daily postings on our class dojo of our travel advisories or anything that's pertinent to the state. That covers pretty much all of our safety. <laughs> Come on in, I'll show you Miss Melissa's class, the Rainbow Room. This is one of our preschool classes, and this is Melissa Davis. She's a teacher. Hi, guys. This is where we have fun in the morning. This is our circle time area. This is where the kids get to be dramatic play. Since we've had the COVID, we've all so you know, kind of taken away some of our toys, unfortunately, but I made little bins for our kids and they have lots of fun stuff inside. And we switch it out every week so they can have new stuff to play with. And this is where we have our cube. They can calm down in this area, read a book. We also have this as the table for one. It teaches our kids patience and um, also teaches them how to play alone. Sometimes we need to do that. This is our snack table. <laughs> how many snacks do they get a day? They have two, two snacks a day. Awesome. Yep. This is, um, this is where we do our, our puzzle time here. And they also have books behind you. This is our bathroom. And this is back here, this is where we get messy and we have fun. Uh, I love to have lots of different things out for them to do, like sensory. So we have water, water toys. We have some sand that they can use with magnifying glasses and look for treasure. They love playing with shaving cream. <laughs> so fun. And then we've been talking a lot about apples lately. So we did an apple project recently and we did our apples up on our head. <laughs> so fun. And then these are our kids. I wish they could be here. So I just put their pictures there. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for visiting. Yes. And now we're gonna go. I think you're going to Starbright. 
to Starbright room. Yes. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> introduce you to our second preschool room. We have our rock school star preschool teachers over here. We have Ms. Rachel, Ms. Catherine, and Ms. Barbara. And they're going to give you a tour of their preschool room. Again, ages three to five. Hello. So this is what our classroom would look like when the kids come in in the morning. We have tabletop activities set out that we choose to help engage the children, as well as shelves with other manipulatives that they can use, potato head, puzzles. We also have behind you over here, we have individual bins because of COVID. We have to have an area where it's just things for that particular child. So there's Play-Doh, there's foam, they have some stickers that is just theirs. We also have a little reading corner. They can come to this any time of the day. It's always open to them, as well as a writing center. And the other classroom mentioned a calm down corner. So if the children are upset, they need somewhere to go to take a little break. They're more than welcome to go there. We have toys to help them calm down. This also becomes our snack area and our lunch area. Then it becomes into this room. This is open in the morning. We have more manipulatives in here, block building, cars. We have magnet tiles. We change the toys out often. This is also where we do our morning circle. So right now we're learning about colors. We have all the color flags up for them. We read a book, we do music. And that's, that's this room. We also, this is one of the rooms they nap in. And then in the back, we have a dramatic play area, which we change regularly. Right now it's the baby center. They're really into babies. So it's full of baby stuff. Sometimes it's a pizza shop or a grocery store. Maybe it's a doctor's office. They also have a science center. And then there's just another area in the back with more blocks, more dollhouses, just to give them another space to play. And then when you come up through the front, you can see that we have a bathroom for our, our kids right in our room. And that's about it for this one. Thank, Thank you. you. Come on this way. This way you are Todd or Nathan Wing. <laughs> so here are our awesome toddler teachers. We have Ms. Mia, Ms. Emily, and Ms. Amna, and they're going to show you around their classroom. Hi. So this, this is where the children first come in. They drop off their shoes or their sweaters, whatever it need be. And this is where we leave their blankets and their pinkies, whatever they need for nap time. And then over here is the play area. We have a library where they can pick up books to read, and we also have individual sensory bins that they can use. They have, they can draw, they can play with Play-Doh or whatever it need be. And then these are their bins of different types of toys. We have manic, manic tiles that they can put up here, or um, waffle blocks or blocks, whatever it need be. And then here's the science so Over here we have dramatic play that includes uh, science. Uh, right now we're working on our lesson plans for um, under, underwater animals, so we have a lot of the projects that the kids have done around the room. Um, and yeah. And here we do like uh, morning snack and morning activities and lunch. And this uh, teacher's classroom with the uh, kids' bathroom. And we do at this area morning meeting and reading time and naps. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Come on this way. This is our, as soon as you walk into this room, you're going to feel the calmness and the amazingness of how awesome this room is and appropriate. This is our infant room. And we take infants as soon as six weeks. And then when they go home, when they go to the toddler room that you just saw, and this is Miss Dana. She's our infant teacher. So this is our room. Come on in. Um, so over here in this corner, we sort of have the the active play sort of area with the climber and the little slide. It's got mats underneath for safety in case they fall off. Um, and then I got a shelf full of toys, the jumper for smaller babies. My changing table over here, and each kid has their own drawer for all their papers, their wipes, extra clothes, so it's all separate and locked so they can't get in there. And as you can see, I like to do, I like to put all their artwork up on the walls. I like to do art something science, sensory every day, and then I hang it on the wall because they're always really proud to 
look at what they've done, and they're all so excited. And then I have a fridge to keep their lunch bottles, extra snacks and stuff in here. And this is sort of the eating area. The older kids can eat at the table. And then I have a high chair for the smaller kids. And then, just in the way. Yeah, always, always. <laughs> And I have a little bulletin board there. I change out, you know, seasonally or whatever to teach the kids about, you know, right now we're doing fall, so we talk about pumpkins and leaves, the colors that we see. And this is sort of my quiet area on this side of the room. So the after play is over there, and then over here, they can read a book, they can sit. I used to have stuffed animals, but we can't have that right now. So we just need this little area, and then sleeping. I have more cribs, or they sleep on cots. When they're about a year old, they can sleep on a cot. And crib. And then out here, you guys saw on the way in, is the playground we have. So we spend a little bit of time outside every day. And I have an awning to keep the sun out. And we have a lot of fun. So that's my room. Thank you. So basically, everyone, if you're looking for a high quality, affordable, um, nationally accredited program that's open all year round, we may be the center for you. And as Ellie said earlier, um, we do serve children six weeks all the way up to preschool age, which is about five. So right before they go to kindergarten. Um, and we really, um, we love it here. We, we love our kids and um, hopefully we will see you soon. So I'm gonna put down below in the comments of how you can get an application and apply for a spot here. But um, we will um, hopefully see you guys soon. So thank you for joining us.